Hey everyone, I just wanted to share this quick update video on the first video in my Neo Geo joystick adapter series that went out last week. I've had some really great feedback from people who've been following along at home and who built their own adapters and apparently they're working really well so that's that's absolutely fantastic to hear. I've also had some feedback from people with uh, some clarifications on some technical points and some stuff that I thought would be really useful to share uh, for anyone who's following along at home. Uh, so I thought to put this quick video together just with some of those hints and tips. Uh, absolutely nothing negative at all, just some stuff that I think will make people's lives easier. Uh, of course, if you haven't seen the first video in the series, this won't make a lot of sense to you. So I'll put a link up above and I'll also put one down in the description. And I would urge you to go and watch that first uh, to put this into context. So the first thing I want to talk about is how I cannibalized the cable from an old joystick in the previous video. The cable was damaged and needed replacing anyway, but I've since rebuilt the adapter using the 9-pin breakout adapter I was originally intending to use. You probably recall that I had some problems getting the breakout connector to plug into anything. My original intention was to use it with a joystick extension cable, which can be found very cheaply on eBay. I was actually waiting for it to arrive in the post when I filmed the video. Of course, inevitably it finally arrived the day after the video went out. I can definitely recommend this method of construction as it means there's no need to sacrifice an old joystick. The 9-core cable was a little harder to track down, so in the end I decided to use an old SCART cable. On the subject of construction, I had a comment from Josh Malone over on Twitter about tinning the wires, which I showed in a very short clip. It's a habit I've gotten into when doing any kind of soldering, but it turns out it's actually better not to do this when the wires are going to be used with a terminal block, so don't do it. Thanks for the feedback Josh, it's genuinely appreciated. The second bit of feedback was from Todd of Todd's Nerd Cave. If you like my channel, you'll definitely be interested in his, so I'll put a link up above and down below in the description. Todd commented that the later kidney bean shaped Neo Geo stick and the Neo Geo CD controller actually require 5 volts to function. I don't own either of these controllers, so I wasn't aware of this, although I do have one making its way from Japan now for testing. Thankfully, a very helpful commenter by the name of Dirk Hutmacher, and I'm really sorry if my pronunciation is a bit off there, pointed out that this could be achieved by connecting pin 7 on the Atari side to pin 8 on the Neo Geo side. I'll be doing this going forward so that the adapter will also work with these controllers, but if you're using the older stick like mine it isn't necessary. There's certainly no harm in hooking it up though, as it won't damage anything. Finally, I had a question from Jim Wood in the comments asking where to buy these connectors. This was actually in my original script, but didn't make it into the final video somehow, so apologies for that. I actually bought them on eBay, and the search term for the Neo Geo connector specifically is Male DB15 Breakout. On the Atari end, you'll need either a joystick cable like I used, or a female DB9 breakout with an extension cable. I'll make sure to clarify that in future videos. So thanks for watching, and thanks for all of your excellent feedback on the first video in my new series. Uh, I think some of those hints and tips are going to be really useful for people following along at home. They're certainly going to be useful for me designing some of the future adapters in the series, so uh, thank you very much. It's, uh, it's genuinely very much appreciated. Uh, as I said in my previous video, the second one is in the works. I'm currently putting the finishing touches on it now, and that's going to show you how to build a adapter to use the Neo Geo joystick with Amstrad and MSX home computers, and also with the Master System and Mega Drive slash Genesis. So if that's something you want to see, hit that subscribe button, and that should be along shortly. So thank you very much, and I'll hopefully see you soon.